Hello and welcome back to 11 Somerset. Last time we had a look at the first episode, a uh, surprise message, um, in which Paul Lamera uh, sent us a message uh, from the dead uh, asking to help uh, his find his daughter, Lori, who um, is, as the episode 2 says, very much in danger. So let's play the second episode. Okay, well, that um, annoying sound is uh, of a message from Laurie, who is uh, very much in need of help. Um, not sure what she's doing there, but just, just keep lying there. Uh, I finished my classes and now I'm making my way home. But something's wrong. I don't know what's going on. My vision's all blurry and I'm so dizzy. I'm going to collapse. Help me. My locker at school is C3 green section. Maybe you can find out why I feel so strange. Remember, you must collect 3800 RTA points to activate the answer module. Now, okay, all right. I know you need my help. Um, well, let's get to it then. So we need to find the place where she was last on the map, which is the school. And um, there's not much you can do here. Take a couple of pictures from uh, Dex, the hypnotist. The uh, St. Agnes Academy, that's where... That's what Laurie's school. Now, she mentioned C3 green. Um, as you can see here, there are alphabetical uh, corridors in which we are heading. So, this is one of the corridors, and if you just move forward, um, the higher you go, the faster you go into the corridor. And obviously, we already missed the green part, so you need to slow down just a little bit until you come to the green section I mean for browser game this is actually done pretty pretty well um, so let's uh, whoop. went too fast there again you can't uh, go faster than this without missing it but if you then click on on one of the uh, lockers on the right you'll find number three here which um, has been forced open and um, we can see that uh, Laurie left her Walkman in her locker that is not good and, and, but what is this? this doesn't look good does it? juice with residue well that could explain the reason why she's not feeling particularly well um, you can see that uh, when I've clicked, I've just actually zoomed into into the uh, into the picture, uh, which helps you locate items more more carefully. Um, there is one here at the bottom, which uh, again gives us uh, a message. I can hardly keep my eyes open. You got my address. Look through my room. I need your help. So the card we found was actually uh, Laurie's. And um, that is her room, which we are heading to now. Yeah, whenever you're ready. So, okay. Um, there's quite a few things to do here. Um, sign on the door. Ah, funny. Uh, mirror. Mirror's reflection. My camera's flash generates the appearance of an unstable image. A prolonged exposure to this image is not desirable. This mirror is not normal. Um, Alright, if you say so. The hat, which, uh, you know, falls down nicely. And 
a computer always oh what's that well that's funny uh, these are Russian dolls and um, I think the idea here is to uh, to place them in in the right order so we go from large to small and small to large there we go we can trust Shapiro he knows how to solve a mystery and again we get a message um, from the PDA saying that Jules Shapiro is uh, Paul Lemaire's good friend and a renowned researcher so the message is accurate there is a very competent and a brilliant man and we get his address um, you can see it on the map um, when we go to the map you can see these white arrows here which uh, which which indicates the places you can visit so so it's not like you have to search for the places on the map so quite convenient we had Laurie's room where we just went um, we're gonna stay there for a little bit longer as we need to gather some more clues now we have here some peanuts um, Okay, some people are allergic to them, and um, they should always carry antihistamines with them. Uh, okay, um, telescope. And something on the nightstand. Well, actually, the drawer. Um, here we have those tablets, the antihistamines, uh, used to treat allergies. Okay, so maybe... She was allergic to something? Could be. Um, this card is um, Space Rent, a warehouse, storing your belongings. And it's uh, it's Paul's, so she probably took that. So, was there anything else here? I do not think so. So, let's head to Shapiro's Loft. And, well, he's got a pool table. That's great. Um, loads of books. One is about hypnosis in 10 lessons. Was uh, Laurie hypnotized? Not sure, but um, we'll take this flashlight, which will probably come in handy later. Hello, doggy. Oh, got a dog hair and saliva, very nice. Maybe another allergic reaction? Could possibly well be. A plant? That is pretty cool. I want one of those. Robot vacuum cleaner. And another computer? Yeah, with some, uh, well, what is it? According to some studies, four hours at the computer can affect people in a way similar to hypnosis. Headaches, bad sleep, difficulties with vision, apathy, etc. Repetitive images on the screen can reinforce these effects. Wow, I, I shouldn't really be doing this Let's Play then, should I? But um, since we're only five to ten minutes in, I think I'm, it's relatively harmless. Um, oh. More pictures to be taken from the orchards, or orchids, I must say. Mm, yeah, bronchitis. So all these allergic reactions. Um, what's this? Microfiles. Okay. Um, I can't see exactly what that is, but I bet this device can help me. Let's put that onto the magnifier, and we find um, the sedative formula. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we've reached enough uh, points to answer this uh, this section, but um, we're going to look for more clues, obviously. And um, you can see that there are, uh, that these two places are where we can find them. Um, let's let's stick with the with pools for now. Uh, I mean Shapiro's loft. 
Okay, so we need two more clues. And um, we're gonna go outside where there's a black uh, 4x4 with a hot hood. Okay, so whoever drives this vehicle is going against driving laws as it's illegal to park in this dark alley. <laughs> well, I'm not, not really sure about that, but um, there is something there on the on the dashboard which we are going to have a look at with our uh, whoa, flashlight. Good. This is uh, hypnol medicine. Um, can only be obtained by prescription and it's under the name of Mario Benedetti and for those who've watched the first episode Mario Benedetti is actually the guy that uh, took over our position or Paul's position at the research center and um, that guy wasn't up to any good so now that we found all the clues um, we can send in our answer what caused her illness or at least her um, being unwell? Uh, the answer is hypnosis? I do not think so. Um, allergies? Well, we got a lot of allergy pictures, but I mean, this picture all tells the tale, doesn't it? I mean, poisoning by sedative. And um, obviously it's, uh, it's the medicine that was put in there. Um, it was put into the locker. You can you can choose this one, the car as well, uh, or the formula. So there we go, and congratulations, we've solved this one as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, and next time we'll move into chapter three. Thank you very much. Bye bye.